to your personal experience that you mentioned here. What was it like having the virus? So it was very um, interesting for me because I usually treat patients. I'm usually the one that patients come to when they're sick. I usually don't ever get ill. And so when I got sick, I just knew that it was different to any other illness that I had had. My symptoms weren't typical in that I didn't have a cough, I didn't have shortness of breath, I didn't even have a high fever. My symptoms really were very sore throat, body pain, and just feeling very, very tired. I remember one night I had a headache that woke me up from sleep, but that was pretty much what I experienced, and the loss of taste and smell as well. So you did have those symptoms? Yes, I did, which was interesting to me yeah. because I my my appetite was completely gone, but I really couldn't taste food. Oh wow! And I yes, and so I I remember that being a very clear. Um, was that early on? Because a lot of people say we you know you've got coronavirus when you start tasting and smelling. So my symptoms only really lasted for about three to four days, and yes, and the you know beyond that I actually started improving and. Even though my sense of smell and my sense of taste was starting to return, my appetite took forever to come back. Oh, wow. So I didn't have an appetite for a good two weeks or so. Um, I just really, I, I did not feel like eating food at all. Sure, that's quite interesting. Okay? So you, you would say for you the virus lasted two weeks because that's when your symptoms abated completely. That's right. But it was, it was quite mild, you would say, because you only had those kind of severe symptoms for three to four days. That's it. So in the beginning, I really felt terrible. I felt very sick, but not sick enough to seek medical attention in any way. I was able to um, still take care of myself and I was able to uh, make sure that, you know, I was... I was not deteriorating because I knew what to look out for. Um, however, there are some people who feel fine for a long period of time and then they can deteriorate um, you know, well into the infection. So it very, it really does vary very from person, person to person. Was, was there any point when you thought maybe I should go to a hospital? Not at all? No, it never happened. I really didn't feel sick enough to say that I needed additional support. In fact, colleagues of mine kept calling me and asking, should we come and help you? But it really wasn't necessary. I felt yes. like I was able to manage myself and that my symptoms were really weren't that severe. Um, even though it did feel dreadful for me, I knew that I was able to breathe well and I was able to still move around and, you know, so it wasn't like I needed to be dependent on somebody else or on the medical um, field for care. That's quite interesting. Were you alone at home? Yes. Okay, so there was no one caring for you? No. Alone. Me. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yes, so I live alone. Um, and so that's why it was easy for me to isolate myself yes. and to make sure that I wasn't spreading the infection to anybody else. In particular, I worry about my parents who are over the age of 60. And so I was able to take care of myself. The only thing, of course, that needed to happen was food needed to get delivered to my house. So yeah. my family would cook and then they would just drop off the food and go. Kind of actually just leave it at the door, to be honest. Yes, and you just like accumulate a whole <laughs> bunch of containers. That's exactly right. That's exactly what 